Hello, welcome back to the training You Create Pain and Choose Pleasure. And now we're going to look at section two, which is all about choosing pleasure. We find out in section one that we're really good at creating pain in our lives, but how good are we at choosing pleasure? And just to remind you, the training is split up into three different sections. The first one is creating pain. The second one, which we're now going to explore, is choosing pleasure. And the third one is changing from pain to pleasure. And we're going to really look at overview of choosing pleasure. Because we have some idea in our mind about what pleasure would mean for us, but how clear are we about that? Because unless we're really clear on our goal of choosing pleasure, then we're not going to know how what we do in our average day, how we think in our average day, is fitting in with getting towards that goal, with reaching our goal. That's how we're going to make our decisions when we're really clear on the goal we're wanting to achieve. So this is just a reminder that in every section we look at, we'll look at it in three different ways. We've got way, the first way is looking at how we would change circumstances or set up pleasurable circumstances in our lives. The second way would be how to choose pleasurable thoughts. And the third way would be really choosing pleasure on another level, a level that's beyond the body and that spiritual level we talked about in the introduction. So we're going to go through these three ways of choosing pleasure. So let's start then with the first way, the most favorite way probably. It's certainly the way we start off life and I think it's probably, as I mentioned in the introduction, unavoidable that we're going to start off by trying to create pleasure for ourselves by changing circumstances, by creating pleasurable circumstances around us. So of course, the circumstances up here are going to cause us pleasure. We need the right people around us. We want to have the perfect partner. We want to be working with the right people at work. We really want to have those people around us that make us laugh, that are lots of fun, that are light. They're just generally wonderful people to be around because they're the ones that are gonna make us happy. Those people are going to cause us to feel pleasure. So we have to get very good at choosing the right people. The problem is we may make a mistake. Then we want to create and choose beautiful things. So these beautiful things might be a wonderful house, a beautiful holiday location, a beautiful place to live, a really nice car. And another pleasurable circumstance we might want is a wonderful body. So we want that body that's fit and healthy, that looks good. And so we're going to be really delighted when we get that, when we achieve what we want to do with our body. We think that will cause us pleasure. And so we need to take a step back and look at this. So one is, is this achievable? Can we really get there? And I think at some point in our lives, when we have achieved the success we wanted, we've got the things we want around us, we have the people we want, we'll realize that it's not really working for us. That creating all that pleasurable environment around us doesn't actually work. We can still feel miserable. We might be happy to start with, but then it wears off and we're still feeling down or anxious or miserable, no matter what the situation is around us. And I had a really powerful experience of that years ago when I was traveling in Brazil before we had a family. I was traveling with my partner and we we're in this beautiful location called Pipa in the northeast of Brazil. It's got a beach called Praia de Golfinhos, which means dolphin beach. And there's a particularly sunny day where the temperature of the water was wonderful and it wasn't too hot. And we decided to swim out with the dolphins and we swam offshore and the dolphins came around us making beautiful sounds. And it was an idyllic situation, but I was fearful inside. That day I wasn't feeling great. 
I was feeling anxious, fearful, a little bit worried. I had a lot of conflicting thoughts going on. And I was in the water and I was feeling fearful of these dolphins, where they're gonna to come too close. And what that was useful for me was, here I was in this idyllic situation, yet I wasn't feeling blissful, pleasurable. I was feeling fearful. So I realized from that, that it's just not enough to create the most beautiful surroundings. I need to look inside. I need to be aware of what's going on inside. And of course, we all reach a stage in our lives. And that's probably why you're watching this training now is that we're ready to do that inner work. Look at our thoughts, look at our inner choices. Let's look together at the slideshow about pleasurable circumstances. And we're going to go into more detail about that. So I'll see you soon. Thank you.